All right, welcome to the JVice Laboratories. Today we're going to take you through how to install a JV100. The JV100 is a patented bracket. It's an alternative solution to NZS 3604 and timber connection code. It replaces strapping, bolting, CPCs, 40s, top and bottom, and instead you just need one JV100 on one side of the joist. So it's not only going to save you a lot of time, it's going to be a lot safer to install and it's going to make your project a heck of a lot stronger. This is the uh, JV100. It's a patented alternative solution to timber connections for boundary joists. One of the main features we have of this bracket is its tooth. Simply hit that with a hammer when you've lined it up on the joist and it's going to sit there hands free. So no more skew nailing, having the bracket spin and cut your hand. None, no more of that. Uh, we also have the 80 degree angle here. This means that when we screw the bracket off with tech screws, it's immediately under tension and it's bringing in those boundary uh, joists closer and stronger together and that's what's going to give your balustrade more rigidity in the end. So with the J-Vice, the short end is always on the boundary and the longer end is on the inner joist. So I'm just going to go ahead, line up the uh, J-Vice here, move the bracket yeah. and then just... now hands free to screw that off. All right, so once your J-Vice is hammered into, into place on the joist, you're able to then screw it off with your uh, tech screws. So we have our hex head drill bit, we have our 44 mil tech screws, and then we also have our 88 millimeter tech screws. But first, uh, we're gonna do our 44s. Every J-Vice requires 10 44 mil tech screws, and then either four 88s or four 125 mils, depending on how thick your joist is. Predominantly, double boundary joists are the most common, so we're gonna do 10 44 mil tech screws and 88 four mil tech screws. All right, so our J-Vice has been hit into place. We're now hands-free to screw off the bracket. Um, every J-Vice requires 10 44 mils, so we'll go ahead and put these in first. Uh, we've got designated spots for these on the J-Vice brochure, so just make sure you're paying attention to that. The screw sizes also have to be the same as what we uh, specify. So here we go. So one of the main things we get asked and one of the main things you'll notice is that the J-Vice is actually 80 degrees. That's because when we place it on the joist, it sticks out a little bit, so when we screw it off, it pulls the joist immediately under tension, so you're going to have a stronger timber connection there. So now we've put the 44mm tech screws into place. There'll now be four screw holes left over on the boundary joist side for our 88mm tech screws for our double boundary joist. If this was a triple, we'd be using 125mm. This we've got our idea. All right, so now that we've put the first one on, we can now go around and screw off our J vices around the entire platform. We will be adding some knobs on this end and this end, 400s in from each side. So as you can see, the JV100 is a common sense approach to your timber boundary fixings. The, the JV100 goes on one side of the timber joist, so initially it's replacing your strapping, your bolting, your CPC 40s, both sides, top and bottom. So there's a cost saving already. You're gonna have more time to put somewhere else into the build, and you're gonna uh, have more efficiency out of your balustrade. It's going to be stronger, and you can relax knowing you've got a better product under the deck. So that's the JV100. Thanks for watching and all the best for your next install. Cheers.